Hello and welcome to Tunnel Vision. My name is Taylor Gill and on this edition of the show we are seeking divine inspiration in a cathedral of sewage. There are 24 construction sites on the Tideway project to clean up the River Thames stretching from west to east London and the easternmost is Abbey Mills pumping station where the super sewer will connect with the Lee Tunnel. The old pumping station was designed by Sir Joseph Bazalgette, who we've met on this series before and who is the forefather of London's sewer network, but more on that later. This is the River Lee. It originates in the Chiltern Hills in Bedfordshire and is one of the largest rivers in London. It's the easternmost major tributary of the River Thames with its last looping section known as Bow Creek. Water taken from the Lee also forms the basis of the artificial New River, built to bring clean drinking water to London in the 17th century. There are several theories behind the naming of the River Lee. It could be Celtic, meaning river of light, or it could be from the Welsh, meaning current or flow. And it's also often used in Cockney rhyming slang, River Lee, cup of tea. The river flows through the 10,000 acre Lee Valley Park, the southern part of which was redeveloped for the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Now the London Stadium is home to West Ham United in the Premier League. Abbey Mills is where the Lee Tunnel meets the Super Sewer. The Lee Tunnel is a 6.9 kilometre tunnel that intercepts this CSO, or Combined Sewer Overflow. It's the largest in London and used to pollute the River Lee and that seeped into the River Thames. With the Lee Tunnel now in operation, the wildlife in this area and the general environment has been transformed. The Thames Tideway Tunnel will do the same job for the Greater River Thames, intercepting the most polluting CSOs. And it's here that the two tunnels meet at a site that combines engineering's past and its future. Let's head inside to find out more. Abbey Mills pumping station will receive the main super sewer from Chambers Wharf, connecting to the Lee Tunnel. This will transfer sewage flows to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works, the largest such plant in Europe. The original pumping station was designed by engineer Sir Joseph Bazalgette, Edmund Cooper and the architect Charles Driver. It was built between 1865 and 1868 and with its elaborate Byzantine style interior, it became known as the Cathedral of Sewage. The pumping station was built at the site of an earlier water mill and its purpose was to raise sewage between the two low-level sewers and the northern outfall sewer, built in the 1860s to carry the increasing amount of sewage produced in London away from the centre of the city. Jerry, can you tell us where we are? Yeah, this is Abbey Mills pumping station. This is what we now know as A Station, was built in 1868, the end of the sewer system, so 80 miles of sewer system that Sir Joseph Bazalgette built. It was designed by an architect called uh, Sir Charles Driver and Sir Charles Driver was given kind of free reign to do whatever he liked. As Victorians do, they, they wanted to celebrate building of the sewer system and they built, they done it by building a pumping station like this. There are six architectural styles here. There's Byzantine, which is the chimneys, which you can't see from here. A lot of them is outside. There's Celtic, which is mainly the doors. There's Russian Orthodox, which is the lantern. We've got Flemish, which is the roof, uh, with the mansard roof. And then we've got Italian Venetian, which is with the windows and also the, the down pipes for the drain. And the one that is inside that you can see at the moment is French Gothic. Well, before we get to the centerpiece, can you tell me what these giant things are? Right, they're pumps. Essentially, they pump the sewage that comes up from London and uh, it, it pumps it up into the Northern Outfall sewer. It's not running at the moment because F Station is the new pumping station that was built at the turn of this century and that runs all of the dry weather flow at the moment. However, this pumping station can run in storm and often takes over from F Station when we need to maintain F Station. Wow. 
And these pumps, they, they have a nickname, don't they? <laughs> yes, they are known as, or affectionately known as the Daleks. Yeah, and, uh, I can that, see why. Yeah, they, they were probably the first Daleks because they were designed before the Daleks. Yeah. Uh, I think the Daleks came along in the, eight, in the 60s, uh, but these were built and put into uh, when the station was electrified in 1933. Great, Jerry, can you tell me about this centrepiece here? In uh, 2018, the uh, pumping station had its 150 year anniversary. We decided that we want to celebrate that and we brought a number of descendants from the Basel Jets onto site and in order to celebrate and show them something we painted the internal part of the uh, pumping station or the gothic part of the pumping station. And how complicated a job was that to repaint it? Uh, incredibly complicated. The, the, the paintwork, uh, we had a lady called uh, Helen Hughes who uh, came onto site and cut back thousands of bits of paintwork. As you can imagine it was never, the paintwork was never taken off, so it was just painted over. She cut it back, spectra analysed it, and came up with the, the different shades. Incredible design for what is essentially a sewage pumping station. And why do you think they put this much effort into the design of this building? The theory goes that if you uh, think of the uh, sewer system, there's 80 miles of sewer system that Sir Joseph Bezajet built, along with roads and embankments and stuff like that. What do you actually see of it and what do you know of the system? Very little. The, the, I mean, the architecture in the, in the sewer system is fantastic, but you don't, very few people get in to see it. And this was built as a, a, to show off what they'd done in the sewer system. So it was a statement, basically. A more modern pumping station was built on the site in the 1990s. Let's meet Rob Ricketts, who will tell us more about this unique site on the project. Rob, we've seen the 150-year-old uh, pumping station. All this stuff looks a lot newer. What are we looking at here? Yep, so the current infrastructure was put in by MVB as part of the Lee Tunnel project. So behind me, you've got shaft G, and in front of me, you've got shaft F. And what, do they, what are these shafts for? So the shaft F is currently operational and takes sewage from the, um, the pumping station and takes it into the Lee Tunnel off to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works to be treated. And shaft G is an empty shaft ready for TBM Selena to drive into, hopefully March next year. A lot of the work on the Tideway project has started and some of it has even finished, but work is just getting started here. Can you tell us what the work Tideway is doing here is? So being the end of the project, we're getting the shaft set up later this year to receive the TBM. Once the shaft is set up and the TBM has come through, we'll lift it out and split the TBM into bits and send it off via road and then we can focus on doing the tunnel secondary lining. And Rob, how are these two shafts connected? There's a tunnel in between the two shafts already and it's currently filled with a concrete bulkhead. And how deep are these shafts? So each shaft is about 70 metres deep. So am I right in saying that these are the deepest on the Tideway project, even though they were built five years ago? Yes, this is the, these are the deepest shafts on the Tideway project. And then the only one that's deep are the ones at Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. So Rob, this is the easternmost site on the Tideway project and the last to start work. What will happen here when the tunnel is open in a few years time? You won't see a lot above ground, but underground, the Lee Tunnel, so pumping station F, will still be able to discharge into the shaft here. And the flows from the Tideway um, tunnel, which is collecting from all the CSOs, will bring the flows th through the tunnel and simply onto Beckton. Rob, what's it like to work on one of the biggest infrastructure projects in London and one that's going to clean up the Thames and have such massive environmental benefits? It's great and I've been on the project for the last four years now. I've, previous, I've spent three years at L Pumping Station and have since moved to Abbey Mills. It's great to have been from London to work in London and um, install some huge infrastructure for the next 120 years for future Londoners. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. Like and subscribe and join us next time on Tunnel Vision.